Hello there, Sadiq Hussain here from Pixel Pushers with another Affinity Photo tutorial. Uh, this time I'm just sitting here at my local tennis club, as you can see in the background, and um, we'll be doing a, uh, uh, a canvas extension on this particular photograph of um, a, a tennis uh, um, shot from um, an event in the past. Okay, this one was at uh, the Birmingham Ladies event at Edgebaston. Okay, so if you look here on the top left, that's all grass at the moment, but in fact, this is how the photograph started. So it's a little bit flat, so we'll be adding some contrast and some sharpness to it. But also what we really want to look at is different ways of extending the canvas. So extending parts of an image to fill a little corner or a little strip at the top or the bottom uh, that's basically obscuring that, uh, that photograph and giving it, um, uh, you know, it's distracting it. So what we're going to do now, one of the ways we can use is the in-painting tool here. It's very, very easy to use. So it's very context sensitive. So depending on where you paint with, it will select pixels surrounding it. And we've used it in many videos already. So let's get started and let's show you how to do that. So first of all, we go to the in-painting tool. There, it looks like a brush. Make sure you resize the image. Uh, but before we do anything else, let's just duplicate the, um, the layer. It's always good practice to duplicate it, but disable that layer temporarily. And we want to put that extension of the, the foreground on a new layer. So we create a new pixel layer here on the bottom right of the layers palette. Um, and at the moment, there's nothing there, obviously, it's blank. What, what we must do, because if we now start in painting here, it won't have any effect, because on here, it needs to say current layer and below. If it's on current layer, which it will be by default, that won't affect anything unless you painted it with the color. But if you press current layer and below, because we want it to affect um, the, the, the layer below, it, well, in fact, it's actually superimposed on top. And all we do is do a little bit of time. First of all, I'm gonna get rid of this shadow here. So increase the size of the brush accordingly. Sorry about the noise in the background. And that's done it really well. And then start doing a strip at a time. So really what this brush is telling the software to do is to replace those pixels with similar pixels from around it. And because the majority around it is the grass, it's the green pixels. And that's done it really well after just three attempts that's replaced it really well and I'm happy with that I don't need to do anything more if I needed to I could just refine it go step back a section and then do it again so that's done it really well so now that looks like the extended lawn um, of the tennis court and all we now need to do is to apply a um, either an adjustment layer but let me show you a different way of doing it so this adjustment now if we just disable that layer, all we've done is we've used the in-painting tool to paint in um, more grass at the top. But we want to combine these two layers. Now, you could combine them um, together, but in fact, I'm going to group them. So if I just say, select that one, select the next one, and just right-click it, and uh, we say group, so whatever effect we apply, it, it'll do it to the group. Now we want to duplicate that group. Okay, so if you duplicated it, and on that duplicated version, uh, I just want to uh, change it, uh, change the, the nature of the way the two groups uh, relate to each other, react to each other. So you change the, the blend modes at the top here. Um, so if we go down to overlay, that really strengthens all the dark areas and all the colors and all the light areas. It gives you a very contrasty, colorful image. But try one of these three, overlay, soft light or hard light, and see which one works. I'm going to go over overlay, so it's quite strong. But another thing you can do, of course, is if you feel that that effect is too strong, you just go to um, the opacity and just bring that down because if you brought it right down it takes you back to the original image but if you brought it down to say maybe about 80 percent you know it's to your liking and then that now is the effect of 
without and with without and with so without anything you've got um, the original image there with the distracting corner and then remo corner removed and then also um, the um, overlay option reducing the um, uh, the opacity down to about 80 percent now we want to give it a, a sharpness so we just go to the menu at the top go to filters there's a number of ways to sharpen it but the quickest way is to click on clarity and if i just zoom in a little bit to the the racket strings and if the clarity was down here then you can see that it's a little bit fuzzy and you just move that strength of the clarity up a little bit don't overdo it so about 80 percent and that's that done so that's a very quick tutorial just click apply there on um, removing unwanted items or extended the canvas or extending part of the image and duplicating the layers and also applying a, um, a relationship between the layers and overlays normally a good method and then reduce or adjust the uh, the opacity of that effect and of course if you wanted to put some text on it or a border around it you could do that would that work with the border with some look um, adjustments uh, sorry effects and we want outline yeah, let's just pull that out by clicking on the gear icon move that to one side we want outline we don't want to go black probably white sorry about that noise i think we gave me some deliveries for the for the club um nobody playing on the courts outside but they're playing inside of course it's a little bit chilly in january and we want it to be on the inside and then just increase and what might be nice is to do it around about the same thickness as the the white lines on the um, tennis court so not too thick not too thin do do by eye and i think that's a nice synergy between that the court lines and if i was really critical i might want to crop that actually so crop that so that the actual picture it actually let's do that let's just undo that um, edge and I'm going to click on crop I'm just going to bring that in a little bit and bring that top down a little bit so the corner so that corner of the line dissects line dissects the corner and then here the line dissects that corner click apply and remember that in affinity photo when you do a um, crop you do need to go back to the layers and you do need to right click and then rasterize and trim because if you don't do that when you do the next step which was putting in that border it won't work all around the edge because all the pixels that you've slightly cropped haven't actually been deleted unless you, unless you press rasterize and trim. Okay, so let's try this now. White inside, and we want it to be at the size. And there, and there we go. So that line goes right into the corner. Okay, I could have done it a little bit more, um, bring it in a bit more, but that's, uh, that's fine. And that's much better than the original photograph was there okay so it just shows how just with a few short clicks you can really improve an image massively so just by changing some of the edits and extending the canvas and so on we, we can try it on another image actually before we go let's just open up another image we'll go to that one now very similar this up here we could get rid of that so again duplicate the layer um, and then go to the in painting tool I won't go through all of it this time but I'll just show you what can be done okay actually I'm going to put in a new pixel layer which I didn't do make sure that it's 
not just current layer, but current layer and below. And then do the same thing. Do a, a little bit at a time. Don't, don't do a lot of it because it doesn't always work when you do a lot. See, like there. So do it maybe horizontally, see if that works. And the more you do, the better the result you'll get. Because there's more pixels that the software can sample from. Okay, so that's not worked too well, but we can change that. Because it was actually sampling from the tennis player's ponytail. There we go. Okay, I'm happy with that. And you could fine tune it a little bit. And of course, you could go through the same um, uh, principle as before. You would uh, select that layer, select that layer, group it, and then duplicate that group. And then change the blend modes to overlay. That's a bit strong, but maybe reduce. The strength of that about there and that's much better than what it was before okay. uh, that's not worked the way I want to. okay so let me just make sure that I've got that right so we've grouped that yeah was a mistake there so pick that layer pick that layer and group them okay make sure let's just disable that original layer make sure that you've got the two in that and then what we do is we just duplicate that and then it's the pass through we change here to overlay and we just change the opacity bring it down see what I'd done there was that it was the um, the grouping I'd done wrong so just be careful when you're grouping layers and when you're duplicating them and that could actually do with an adjustment for brightness and contrast it doesn't need any sharpening so you could put uh, an adjustment layer on uh, of go to um, curves and just see there we go just bringing that up a little bit and that's sufficient and that's done so we started off with this and we've ended up with with that much better photograph uh, without that distraction there and we've boosted the, the brightness exposure and we've boosted the colors and the contrast as well so thanks for watching and um, do give us a like and uh, give us some feedback as well and have a go and share some of your pictures thank you very much